Um, then when U.S. reporters started pushing on this and saying, you know, is Biden saying that the U.S. has independent evidence of this, then they had to say, um, no, actually, uh, Joe Biden and no one in the administration has seen any photos. He was just referring to uh, the, the media reporting about it. And now the Israeli government doesn't make this claim at all anymore. In fact, when Netanyahu has appeared uh, alongside U.S. officials or when Tony Blinken has shown photos uh, by the Israeli government of the aftermath of the of the horrifying scene at the at the kibbutzes, he's never mentioned uh, beheaded babies. Uh, Netanyahu has said that they beheaded soldiers. Uh, but what 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 is really perplexing is that the established facts that we already understand are are, are horrifying enough enough. Why would the most powerful individual in the world find the need to repeatedly? Not just once, Amy. He said it in October, he said it in November, and he said it a few days ago. He keeps saying that he has seen photos, and then his his advisors have to walk it back. Also, the Washington Post reported that before he first said that, in a meeting with his staffers, they warned him against including that in his speech because they said it's not verified. So what you have here is Joe, this is one of the most incendiary charges that has been made about those raids uh, led by Hamas on October 7th, this idea of beheaded babies. But if you look at the actual figures that have been released by Israel, and I want to be very precise here because it's very, very important. If you look at the actual figures, and I'm, I'm going to read this for you, Amy. This is, this is published in mainstream Israeli news outlets. They, they've said approximately 1,200 Israelis or Israeli residents were killed on October 7th. 274 of them were soldiers, 764 were civilians, 57 were police, 38 were local security guards. Among the civilians killed, there was a nine-month-old baby. She was the youngest, uh, Mila Cohen. She was shot, and this is horrifying, she was shot as her mother carried her. Her mother survived, but her father and other relatives were killed. So you had a nine-month-old that was killed, then you had 12 children between the ages of one and nine years old, and you had 36 children between the ages of 10 and 19 years old. Where does this story of 40 beheaded babies come from? Well, Israel has walked it back. The reporters have retracted it. Only Joe Biden is out there in the world continuing to insist that he somehow has seen photos of beheaded babies when not even Benjamin Netanyahu, who absolutely would be screaming it every day if it was true, isn't going that far.